Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I get asked a lot about what is a solid, portable, all-in-one music making device, and uh, it's something that I've been searching for myself for a very long time. Basically, ever since I got into music making, the dream was to be able to take a backpack anywhere and make a beat on the go, maybe incorporate sounds from the environment around me. And when I got started, there were barely any options for this, but now we are spoiled for choice. Making a beat on the go is a totally common thing to do. It's like almost meme level in the production community. So here's my criteria for this top three. Number one, it has to be small enough to take anywhere. Number two, it has to be battery powered. And three, it has to be possible to make a full track without using any other gear. So having tried out tons of these devices over the years, here's my personal top three. Number three is the Deluge from Synthstrum, which is a ridiculous machine, synth, sampler, sequencer, drum machine, looper, and it was designed by just one person, Rowan Hill from New Zealand. I don't know how he did it, but this rivals anything out there by giant companies that have been around forever. And because it was made by just one person, there's an incredible amount of design cohesion here that just make it a very special all-in-one music making tool. <laughs> So it's got a few different synth engines in it. You've got a good amount of onboard effects with it. Nothing surprising, but solid standard versions of the usual suspect. It comes with a bunch of samples, but you can of course load samples into it or record samples directly into it. And it has resampling and time stretching. The sequencer has unlimited pattern length and there's also no track limit other than the CPU. And in the manual, it says they've got up to 110 samples playing at once and 64 synth voices playing at once. You can also use it to sequence other gear because it's got MIDI as well as four gate outs and two CV outs. There's also a live looper, which you can of course just use as an audio recorder if you want to, and it's limited only by the size of the SD card that you're using. I think the only drawback with the Deluge is the learning curve because it's just set up quite differently from a lot of what else is out there. So for instance, this grid is very dynamic. You can move around your sequences, you can zoom in and out, you can also switch to a keyboard mode to play notes, or you can use the song view to see all your tracks at once and you can zoom in and out there as well. Also, where many other portable devices would resort to a menu, the Deluge has actually given almost every single grid button a shift function, which you can see with this tiny text. So for instance, I can hit shift frequency and now it's flashing and this encoder is adjusting the filter cutoff. I can hit shift saturation and start distorting that channel. So things like this take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, I think it is more effective than a lot of the ways that navigation is usually implemented. So that is the Deluge. It does almost everything. It's pretty rad. Now for slot number two, I gotta mention my own app, Flip. Biased, of course, but I set out to make the exact tool that I used to wish I could use when I was out and about, and it's turned into this really robust app with a super fast workflow, and uh, it's just a lot of fun to use. So Flip is a sampler with a lot of ways to manipulate sounds as well as structure them into complete tracks or perform live with them. It's basically a complete DAW for your phone or tablet or iPod even. So for this segment, I'll just highlight a few of the things that I think make it stand out from most of the other apps out there. So one example of the super fast workflow, the instant you stop recording a sound, it's already on a drum pad, it's mapped across a keyboard, there's an effects chain ready to go, it's all just immediately ready for you to play with. <laughs> 
Every channel has its own parametric EQ, which you don't see in a lot of apps, and uh, EQs actually feel really great to use on a touchscreen. There's a full piano roll, including note velocity and 19 automatable parameters per channel. Each channel can have its own length, and each automation lane can also have its own length, so you can do a lot of really fun polymeter stuff. The song arrangement page is dead easy to use. It's just drag and drop with your patterns. Another thing that's not common to apps, it's got a mastering chain. So there's an EQ and a couple different flavors of compression. And then one of my favorite things is these performance sliders, which you can use to add live effects to any or all of your sounds. And it's just so fun to mess with these. So that's Flip, it's 10 bucks US. If you wanna check it out, there's a link in the description. And finally, I've saved my favorite one for last, the OP1. There are so many fun and creative tools packed into this little thing. Different flavors of synths, interesting effects, unique approaches to sequencing, a gyroscope that you can use as a control source. It all adds up to being a device that generates endless amounts of inspiration. The OP1 has shown up a lot on my channel over the years, so I won't do a full rundown of it here, but if you don't know much about it and wanna learn more, I'll link some videos in the description. Suffice it to say, it's given me so much joy and so many ideas every time I've picked it up. They unfortunately seem to keep getting more expensive, but I would recommend it to anyone who can afford it who's into music production. This track you're hearing is the most recent thing I made with the OP1. It's not entirely OP1, but it's mostly OP1, and it's called OP1 Kenobi from my new album, Ooh. That's linked in the description. Hope you'll check it out, and I hope you enjoyed this video.